What's up, everybody out there in YouTube land? We're at 2501 here. Um, okay, this looked like an interesting video. I don't remember if it was a request or not. And this is by Ant Antone Delac. And this is Oni Plays Animated, the Game Boy Creepypasta. Okay, so this is another uh, Creepypasta uh, SFM, I think. All right, um, it's supposed to be creepy, scary, I guess. So let's check it out and let's go. I know a lot of you guys have been wanting me to do the Angie's, um, what was it? Angie's Odd Exile or whatever. Years ago, but you gotta wait, give me some time on that one because that's like 45 boy. minutes long. One day, while I was jumping through the street, I happened upon really? a large vehicle. Who the hell does that? Which me violently into a nearby window. <laughs> After getting shit, my man? bearings. I looked up to see a young boy with a Game Boy Advanced SP Blue Edition in his tiny little hands. I had always dreamed of owning a Game Boy Advanced SP Blue Edition, but my family could barely even afford gold. He looked what up the hell? Okay, this is like the most eyes. retarded creepy pasta existence. His two lower teeth quivered in confusion. Ma -ma -ma -ma, he said softly. What the hell? This was my chance. I ran at him, screaming and stomping my feet, scrambling ah. his brain in sheer confusion. I shoved him as hard as I could and grabbed what his Game Advanced SP Blue Edition, and I ran out the door. I leaped back down the street towards my home. I pulled open the door by its big, smelly handle, and I let myself what in What the quiet crap room. is going I on here? I my many parents and shut myself my into many my room. parents? What? I had made it. Finally. A Game Boy Advanced SP to call my own. I will have to keep it hidden from my family. I shan't ever allow them to know. Yeah, but you don't I have a charger for it, SP Dingus. in my small, oh, beautiful hands and proceeded <laughs> to slide the switch to on. What the hell is going on I will never forget here? that wonderful sound it made the first time I turned it on. And that wonderful Nintendo logo splashed my screen in sheer delight. I blew out my candle and I pulled my curtain shut tight. I wanted absolutely nothing to get in the way of my first Game Boy Advanced SP Blue Edition experience. Oh god, that's Suddenly, just nasty. A small man appeared on screen. Shortly after, Hello. the word Mario started flashing behind him. I assume this man is the man known as Mario. I had seen adverts showing him on television. The title oh, of the game slowly lowered itself in from the top of the screen. Super Mario. And the legend of the stolen Game Boy Advanced SP Blue Edition. What the hell? <laughs> My heart sank <laughs> as I so noticed stupid. a dead pixel in the lower left region of the screen. Beggars can't be choosers, I thought to myself, however. A and dead I pressed pixel? The start button with my fingy. A vast landscape with clouds, bushes, and bricks appeared before my very eyes. And there he was, the familiar Mario man I had grown to enjoy. I pushed left on the left button. button. Mario himself dashed to the left. Dust between his silly brown shoes filled the air. Amazed by his speed, I quickly pushed right to test his turning abilities. I was not disappointed. As Mario oh my changed god, direction what the hell is second, this? This is like one of the crappiest things I've ever seen. I the other button functions as I played. It's like a parody of everything, Mario man. At high speed similar to my own. He allowed him to leap so high in the sky that I screamed in fear that perhaps maybe he wouldn't come back down. Yet he always did, which engaged me in the game world even more. Oh my god. I quickly grasped the concepts of jumping large gaps, avoiding enemies, and climbing a big, big flagpole at the end of each level. Technically you don't I climb the flagpole, the you jump on it and slide down. Problems. I looked into a nearby mirror and smiled at myself with one eyebrow raised and I said loudly, Does this game think I am not good? I can handle anything it throws my way. Uh, oh, yeah? Uh, uh, suddenly, uh, uh, the screen turned black. And I don't just mean black. Oh, that's just so wrong, black. dude. That's racist shit. The screen shit. looked like a big, deep, deep hole. I said out loud, Is this a hole I see before me? And it echoed the like a hole. I wiped a large chunk my of sweat hole. from my flopping brow. That was weird, I thought, in a big bubble next to my head. In a big the bubble next loaded, to my head. This time, it took a lot longer. <laughs> Mario stood in place, 
so I pushed right and he began running. I noticed the graphics were getting all jumbly. Also, the music jumbly. was becoming less da 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 and more. <laughs> I was nearing the first what gap the of the crap? stage to jump over. As that I actually looks like closer, a cool game right there. I readied my sweating pink thumb over the A button. The uh, gap was here. I pushed the button, but Mario didn't jump. He just screamed. I pushed left as fast as I could, and he ground to a halt right at the edge of the gap. I pushed A frantically and repeatedly to try and make him jump, but he just screamed and screamed. The camera zoomed in on my face as I pummeled that A button, trying to what make Mario hell? fill that air above his Oh my body. god, this is like one of the but most retarded shits ever, I love it! friend Mario's screams of fear. I said no more. I pulled the cartridge from the Game Boy Advanced SP, and I threw it out of my window. It landed in some mud outside. And I laughed and I closed my window. I turned around <laughs> and I saw that the cart was back in my Game Boy. Ooh, Mud scary. Mud from its cart slot. I gasped and I said to myself, No, it cannot be. Oh my the God, Game Boy seriously. turned itself back on. Mario's face appeared with hyper-realistic skin pores and bloody chapped lips. He spoke softly. You stole me from my humor. Now I, Mario, of Nintendo of America, Incorporated. Incorporated? Forever. I screamed aloud, louder than an eagle of the night. There must be some way <laughs> to undo this, this curse. Oh my I decided God, the so only stupid. way to rid myself of this curse was to beat the game. I ran up to the first gap of the level. I pushed A and Mario just screamed again. I fell into the <laughs> hole and Mario lost a life. This is when I noticed my skin began to rot and turn slightly green. What on earth is happening, Mario? I asked Mario. Every life you lose, I will make you rot. <laughs> I asked, how can I beat the game with only screams? I cannot jump gaps by screaming. Fuck you. Mario Fuck said you. quietly. <laughs> I screamed. I decided not to beat the game. In fear of me rotting, I decided that I was going to do the right thing. I ran out of my room, <laughs> pushing my feeble mother out of my way in the what hall. What the hell, dude? I ran down the street towards the boy's house. This is some Thunder seriously screwed up shit. The rain pitter pattered on my crying face. Finally, I reached the house. I leaped up to the boy's window and let myself in. Let the myself room in. was dark. Creepy. Boy? I cried out. Boy? Boy? Boy. Are you there? Boy. I turned on Boy. the light switch. I'm remembering uh, God up, of War. I saw many Boy. people dressed in black. Boy. They all cried Boy. softly. Who the flip are you people? I asked with tears Boy. running down my You're the one breaking into the house, dude. Who the hell are you? We are this boy's family. A woman replied, I was his mother. She pointed into the center of the room, where a small coffin was suspended over a hole. My heart sank. A hole? What? Is your boy Shit? inside that box? I asked with an eyebrow raised and a finger on my chin. Yes. <laughs> a crazed person broke into our home, ravaged our son, and stole his child. Ravaged our son? Okay, don't him. say it like that. That's the sound went right, dude. Slow. I dropped to my knees. I held the Game Boy tightly in my clenched fist. Could this be my fault? I asked myself politely. It his is. mother walked over to me with a big fat tear in her eye. Oh my she God. told me, just... it really means a lot that a stranger would let himself into our home to pay respects to a boy he didn't know. I'm sure you two would have gotten along great. She then pointed to the priest and said, please lower our child into the earth now. The priest did just that. What the? He pulled on a lever with a shiny red ball on it. The coffin started going down. I shoved the mother from me and I sprinted towards the coffin. I jumped on that coffin and the rope snapped. I began falling into the earth with the child inside. I heard the screams from his family echoing above. I pried open the coffin as we fell, and I shoved the Game Boy into his tiny cold mouth. Free me of this curse, child! I screamed at the top of my head. I noticed that we weren't hitting the bottom, and that the darkness in this hole reminded me of the dark I saw in the Game Boy. 
Could this be what I saw before? From the darkness, a floating black and white head of Oh Mark God! This is just so stupid. In the tall, you shall fall with the dead body of a child. <laughs> and then he Gaussian blurred away. Gaussian. This is what I get for stealing, I guess. I this said as I shrugged. Is <laughs> Suddenly, Mario appeared again. He said, "Wow." It sounds like you learned your lesson. Huh? It's like the third most retarded thing I've ever seen in my life. Bye. He clicked his mustache, and I was back in my room. I looked over on my bed, and the Game Boy Advanced SP Blue Edition was gone. My mother opened the door, and she said, <laughs> yeah. My son, my beautiful son, I make you eggs on toast. Ooh, you know what? I love eggs on toast, okay? It is delicious. Alright? <laughs> I, I, I realize maybe stealing not okay. Yeah, you think? I the sky and I said, thank you, Mario inside Game Boy. Everything oh would be alright. And though the child remained permanently dead... Permanently dead? His mother could always play his Game Boy Advanced SP Blue Edition to remember him by. Thanks to me. That is unbelievably stupid. Oh my god. God. That was the stupidest damn shit I've ever seen in my life. God. Uh, or at least the third stupidest. This is, maybe this is the third stupidest thing I've ever seen. But it definitely ranks up there. Definitely the top five. <laughs> god, man. Oh. My god. It sounds like it was written by Edgar Allan Poe with Down Syndrome or something. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was like so goofballish. I can't even imagine. Okay. Antone Delek. Apparently he did the animation and somebody else provided the original audio. But either way, both of them. Good work, guys. Good work. Okay, I came here expecting something creepy, but it was just so damn hilarious. God. <sighs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to me if you haven't. Click on the link to the original. Get down to the original and subscribe and like that video. Ah. Uh, and also, don't forget to share me on social media, guys. Tune in every day for new content. Happy Halloween. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.